y'all what is up and welcome back to my channel for a brand new series so today we are starting the sims 3 to sims 4 where i will be recreating the sims in the sims 3 and their families i did this with the sims 2 families in their houses so if you're interested in seeing me recreate that in the sims 4 check that playlist out it's already been completed but i know a lot of you really enjoyed it and i've been looking forward to starting the sims 3 version uh so i figured you know what now is the time because i'm kind of bored i kind of am inspired just to to create new sims and do a lot more speed builds and it's just a lot of fun it's challenging to you know just recreate them and build their houses because it's different style in the sims 3 than what it is in the sims 4 but anyways we are starting off with miss jamie jolina who is a pre-made sim who lives by herself in Sunset Valley. So Jamie is in the medical career track, I believe, and she is level six. Uh, she wants to become a world re-owned surgeon. But as you'll see, her house is like very colorful. Once we get there, you'll know what I'm talking about. But her favorite color is pink, that is stated. Um, and she wears quite a bit of makeup in this color. And so I try to, you know, give her that same look as she had in The Sims 3, you know, very pink girly uh, makeup and clothing she's just very beautiful very girly it just she just looks like a very flirty sim but she's also looks very intelligent um i was kind of toying around with the idea do i want to give her glasses or do i want to give her some contacts you know but i wanted to keep her in her glasses just because i think it sets her apart and just kind of shows that side that yes she's flirty and she's beautiful but she's also very intelligent and you know she can rock the glasses there's nothing wrong with preferring glasses over contacts you know some days I I just want to rock my glasses instead of my contacts <laughs> but anyways I really really like Jamie um, her personality she loves music she loves parties and she loves flirting however her favorite sort of music is classical and because like I said she wants to become a world reowned surgeon it kind of sets her wilder tra traits apart from her more sensible ones so not only is she just very flirty and romantic and just outgoing and just life of the party, but she's also very intelligent. She has huge ambitions in her life, but I really, really liked playing her because of her name, Jamie Jolina, and the fact that she is really good friends with Thornton Wolf at the start of, you know, her save or whatever in The Sims 3, but she's disliked by his wife, uh, his wife, I can't talk, his wife Morgana, uh, who is one of her co-workers, and we will, we create them later, but I'm sure y'all are familiar with the Wolf family, um, but yeah, I don't know her name, Jolina, just reminds me of Jolene, and because she's so flirty and so gorgeous and so ambitious, I just seen her as a Sim that can really stir up some drama and you know some tension in some relationships um i always had her ruin thornton and morgana's marriage which is really awful <laughs> I shouldn't like aspire to make Sims home records, but I just got that vibe from her, and she was a lot of fun to play with. If you wanted some drama, just her personality. Um, but yeah, now we are building her house, and her house, oh, it's kind of like a I don't I don't know would it be seventies? I'm not really sure. Uh, it's very retro looking, and in the Sims Two series, um, the Sims Two to Sims Four series that I started on my channel um, a while ago. I actually was a stickler about creating the sims to look as identical to the sims 2 version as i could and their houses but i've decided for this sims 3 to sims 4 series i'm not going to be so anal about it i'm just going to kind of go with the flow give them more so a makeover um and just really have fun with the cc and just their personality and kind of portray that in their clothing and everything and then also with their houses is the main thing i really wanted to you know give it a makeover i wanted to keep the same layout the same kind of vibe but i wanted to you know really get into decor and um furnishing and everything and not have it so plain because i want these sims to be like functional like you would want to play them obviously they're functional but what i'm saying is you you want to play them because i know for me like half the time if I want to like oh randomly hop into a towny house they're hideous made by EA no offense which is why I've been recreating them <laughs> so I wanted to you know give them houses that are very cute and they look lived in and I put some effort into you know making them cute so I hope you can appreciate that and I hope you guys enjoyed that um, I don't use any CC uh, for the build but I will use CC on just about all of them and their creative sim just because I think it's a lot more fun that way you know me getting creative um, but their houses will probably, I'm not going to limit the, 
their houses to like ditch the base game i'm just gonna you know have fun be creative and if it's something that y'all want to download hey it's there if you just want to watch it then hey there you go <laughs> but anyways yeah i hope you guys are excited about this series i am i'm like kind of obsessing over it uh all weekend i was hopping around to all the families just like trying to remind myself of them because I, I probably played with all of them at one point in the sims 3 and just like you know refreshing my memory on their houses and their personalities and i just think it's going to be so much fun just recreating them in the sims 4 but i will say that i did decide to start with jamie jolena uh because her house is a little bit more simple. Um, I, I was thinking originally I'm going to start with like the goth family, the land grabs, you know, the bachelor, you know, those iconic families that we know and love, but there are lots have a, they're huge. Like for example, the land grab and the goth is just so detailed and it has a lot of terrain tools that I can use once we get that patch. So I'm going to save those more iconic families for later. So I'd be looking forward to that. I think it'll give me a little bit more practice when you know it comes to using the terrain because I'm kind of scared. <laughs> but if I'm copying something then I think I can do it. That's why I... here fun fact this is why I enjoy recreating these houses because I can just copy them. I enjoy this so much better than speed building because I'm just copying something and I can just make it better and renovate it kind of. So yeah, that's what I enjoy doing. So hope you guys enjoy it. But yeah, anyways, um, her yard, like I said, I kind of kept the same layout. So obviously Sims 3, we had cars. So she has a little driveway and I put the little statue car, you know, that we can use. I just, you know, sized it up and put it there in the driveway. Um, and as far as like the landscape and everything, I kind of kept the same layout to a T. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think her house is really, really cute. It's different. That's what I like about it is that it's different. It kind of stands out. Like I said, it's very retro. And I was really iffy about the interior, as you'll see once we get inside. I kind of back and forth with the, like the couch swatches because uh, I'm just I'm not into that bright colorful style look personally if you've watched any of my speed builds you know that I tend to you know gravitate more towards like the neutral tones and the light and crisp and clean but Jamie Dolina her house is iconic for just being very colorful and retro looking so I wanted to stay true to that um so anyways, I hope you guys enjoy it. And also, I do use reshade, so um, it does look a little bit brighter, as you see on my screen, than what it will on yours. But it's not a major difference. Um, the preset that I'm using is Zistel's, which is her dim preset. Um, I will link that down below. It's probably my favorite. I really liked uh, Jen and Urban Sims. Her preset, which was Leo, I really used that and enjoyed that for a while. But I really am loving Zistel's uh, dim because it just makes the colors pop and it's so much more vibrant. So yeah, if you're interested in that and the way it looks, I will link her preset down below or her video to her preset of her explaining it. We'll do that. But anyways, yeah, here we are in the interior of the house and... Her house originally in The Sims 3 had carpet all throughout. I guess that's kind of where it got that retro 70s vibe from. I just couldn't do it. <laughs> so I upgraded it a little bit and gave her some hardwood floor in the living room and hallway. And um, yeah, as you'll see, like I said, it's very bright. So I tried to go with the same layout. Layout's the same. Uh, to a T. I did add laundry though and I'm probably going to do that with all of their houses because in The Sims 3 we did have laundry but it came out later so I am building these houses that came with like the base game so they don't include a laundry room um, so I'll probably try to put those in if I can if I can't maybe I'll leave it out I'm not really sure we'll just have to see when I get to when I get to the other families, but for Jamie's house, I was able to squeeze it into the living room. But yeah, I really thought that the layout of this house was unique because it's not something that I would originally like, like or come up with on my own. Um, I kept the couch layout the same as it is in The Sims 3, which is why she has like the two little love seats and they're kind of catty corner like that, which I think is really cute. It's different. And y'all, that bay looking window right there was driving me crazy because I'm very OCD and I cannot stand for it to be uneven. But I just, it 
it had to be. I'm sorry. I hope it doesn't bother you. But once I put the TV there and the curtain, it kind of balances itself out. So it's not that big of a deal. But just know that it drove me absolutely crazy. But she did have that bay window in her house in The Sims 3, which I thought was very cute. So I wanted to keep that aspect. Because like I said, I want to keep it as... <sighs> close to the original in the sims 3 as possible but just really get into like the decorations because it's kind of bland and boring and i want you guys to be able to use these in y'all's gameplay in the sims 4 and enjoy the houses and you know the decorations and just i don't know like i said i like houses that look lived in and they're decorated nicely but yeah i don't know i think that her personality um i don't know i don't I don't see her having this bright retro colored house, honestly, because she's so girly and sweet and innocent and just like just very knowledgeable. I just imagine her house being like my style, very clean, crisp <laughs> and neutral, but no, or even more girly, but no, she has this retro style house, um, but I don't know. I kind of dig it. I like it. It's different. It's very different. I wouldn't normally um, play in a house like this, but I think... Um, I don't know. I, th I think I might change my mind because I really like this house. I think it's cute. It has a lot of characteristic and a lot of personality, which I really like. Um, and there is two bedrooms. In the original house in The Sims 3, she had like a double bed in one room, um, which is the room off next to the kitchen there, which was probably the master bedroom from what I would assume since it had the double bed and then the room that's coming off of the living room had like a single bed in it which I was thinking maybe like a guest bedroom or something but I ended up making the master bedroom the one coming off the living room just because I thought it was a little bit more spacious that way and then I just made her like a little office area in the spare bedroom and you know maybe if you put her in your gameplay and she ends up wrecking somebody's marriage or you know something fun like that and she ends up having kids well you know what you have an extra bedroom but there is only one bathroom but like I said we did squeeze the laundry in there which I'm proud of <laughs> but anyways y'all um I'm rambling now because this is like this is this is the one thing that I'm not looking forward to when it comes to this series is voiceovers I am terrible at them and these typically tend to be a little bit longer because I'm doing a creative sim at the same time now with the single sims or the maybe the families that consist of one or two sims I will show you me picking out their outfits for you know every occasion formal up to winter wear but when we get into like the bigger families I'm probably just going to show me creating their everyday styles and of course I will dress them how I see fit uh, but I won't include that in the video because, like I said, it's a speed build too. Whew. And if it's a bigger family, then it's probably going to be a bigger house, which means I don't want this video to be like 45 minutes long. And I surely do not want to do a freaking voiceover for 40 minutes. Like this one's what, 16, 17? And I'm already like, <sighs> my mouth is so dry right now. I've been talking all day. I've had a pretty busy day at work and I've just been talking nonstop and I actually started this voiceover probably 10 times and then I just kept messing up and getting tongue-tied and I was just like freak this, this, this. I was getting so mad like I should include the bloopers at the end y'all would probably be very entertained but I'm not gonna do that <laughs> but anyways we're in her bedroom now and uh, I struggled a little bit with the swatching for her bedroom because I really was like, well, you know, I can give her like a pink bedroom or something like that, but I'm OCD when it comes to my builds and everything, and I want the color scheme to kind of flow from room to room, so I kind of went with that green and orangey, bright, poppy, co poppy color, that don't even make sense, like it just kind of pops, if you know what I'm saying, um, so I, you know, gave her a little closet area space and then I put her a little chair in there with a bookshelf that she is a bookworm and she does enjoy reading um so she also has an area in her office where she can read so I mean she's a home wrecker but she's also very intelligent <laughs> I'm just kidding y'all don't have to make her a home wrecker actually you know what if you download Jamie Jolena and decide that you want to put her in the sims 4 and have fun with her don't make her a home wrecker okay let's give her a little bit of dignity 
<laughs> but I don't know. I just, I think that was kind of the idea when they created Jamie Jolena, um, just because of the fact that she already had this tension between her and the Wolf family and how she was friends with Thornton and disliked by his wife and their relationship was on edge. And then like Jolena just reminds me of Jolene. I think that's what they were kind of going for there. So it just seemed natural and the right thing to do to make her a homewrecker. Which is like, I loved it, but at the same time, I disliked her because of it. <laughs> but I think she's a fun sim. I think her personality is awesome. I think her house is awesome. So yeah, if y'all want to download her, like I said, it will be on the gallery. But sh she is covered in head-to-toe custom content. So make sure you have that little check mark checked. Um, and then... Uh, I probably, sorry, I suck. I probably won't link any of the CC. Not because I don't want to and I'm trying to like ruin y'all's lives. Y'all this beautiful sim and then you want all of our CC and it's like you can't even link the CC for us. Like you can't use base game stuff for all of us. But you can't even like link it. Well the reason why is my CC is merged. <laughs> so I'm not really sure how to do that without unmerging my CC. And I really don't want to unmerge my CC because it makes it run a lot faster and a lot smoother and gives me a lot more space because I have a ton of CC. So I'm sorry. <laughs> but I do have a Tumblr with all of my CC finds. Um, you know, or you can just download her and give her your own little makeover. But as I said before, her house does not include any custom content. But yeah, it's just like the shell of the house and just the concept of recreating her in her house in The Sims 4 that's fun so if you're interested it's available for you but I know a lot of people just really enjoyed watching me just recreate them probably didn't even download them at all I know a lot of their houses in The Sims 2 that I recreated were downloaded but not a lot of the families were which is cool that's fine <laughs> um, but yeah I just I know a lot of people enjoyed watching me recreate it so I'm excited for this series I hope y'all are excited for it and as far as her backyard and landscaping um, I added a little bit because her black her black yard her black yard her backyard <laughs> was a little bit plain she didn't have like any landscaping and I kind of wanted to change that make it a little bit prettier so I put a few books bushes over there in that corner and a big tree and a little walkway and I gave her a chess table outside on her porch there because she is in the medical career field and I know that you have to have a lot of logic and unfortunately like in The Sims 4 we can't go to the computer and practice chess we have to own a chess table or go to the park so I figured I would just go ahead and you know, incorporate that for her. It'll come in handy. But anyways, y'all, this video is wrapping up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you're excited about this series, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not, and comment down below and let me know which family you would like to see next. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye!